It's time to compare Samsung One UI 6 versus Apple iOS 17 versus Huawei Harmony OS 4. Let's do this! Alright guys, it's Miros and I think we do enough animations comparisons between these three operating systems and it's time to compare the visual differences between these three UIs. Which one is better and which one is suits better customers. And of course at the end of the video you will let me know down in the comments which one you prefer and which one you think is the best. Alright, let's first check the versions. Let's go in settings, software information, here too. And guys, you can see what we have One UI version 6 and Android version 14. Here we have iOS 17.1, which is beta 1 of iOS 17.1. And here we have Harmony OS 4.0.0116. And keep in mind, these three devices are all in betas. This one is beta 5 of One UI 6. This one is uh, beta 1 of iOS 17.1. And this one here is, I'm not sure, around beta 5 or 6 for Harmony OS version 4. So all these three devices are using the latest software which is in beta. First we need to lock our screens and check the lock screens and even before lock screens we will check the so called AOD or always on displays. So let's lock here the Samsung, let's lock here the Huawei and now we need to lock our iOS. 17 device so what are the differences here probably you already see it but they are not a big here we have of course the clock the date and notifications here we have the same clock date notifications and something visual here from harmony os and huawei and here we have the same experience of course this is something which came with uh, iphone 14s the AOD always on display but here this is our clock the date and here we can put the widgets down there of course here we can uh, change the differences between the, uh, the clocks here on one UI we can uh, put uh, music player and so on let's just move to uh, the lock screens and the lock screen differences are here what we can customize here let's hold our finger here all right, she's, it's asking for a pin, so we can start customizing our lock screen here. It is the same, holding our finger and let's check what we have here. To customize the lock screen, we need to unlock the device and go in settings, home screen and style. And from here, we can customize the always on display and that's it we can't customize much of our lock screen so the lock screen will be just the, the clock and notifications below it that's it here on harmony os but here with android 14 and one ui 6 we uh, have now more customizations if you tap on the clock of course you can change the clock you can select the different type of clocks and of course you can select even more from uh, other applications Except the clock one, you can select no clock. This is the standard clock and of course you can move it up or down, left or right. Different type of clocks, different fonts and so on and so on. We can select here a different uh, colors for the clock. You can make it uh, green, red or so on. But here the auto means color adapted from wallpaper. It will adapt from the wallpaper because this is Android 14 and we use material you design. Clock color will be changed upon the differences of your current wallpaper. Here what we have, uh, apart from the clock, what else we can check here. You can uh, change the notifications, details, icon only and none. Of course you can change the transparency of uh, your notifications. And of course you can put some contact information here. You can change here the shortcuts. You can select from almost every application. So of course you have also a direct link here to wallpapers and you can change the wallpaper from here. Here in iOS 17 what we have if you tap on customize. 
lock screen and home screen let's tap on lock screen and of course now if you tap on a date you can change here a different date and different widget you have here a different suggestions now it's a calendar date you can select uh, events you can select uh, a clock styles almost everything you can select from here if you move to the clock apple introduced with ios 16 i think you can select just like as a samsung a different clock styles you can make the font bolder thinner or just the exact amount you prefer and of course you can change the colors here of course we miss uh, here the option about material and changing it so these are the customizations upon the date and time and here on the clock here we have widgets and we have lots of widgets I, you can see i put a weather widget a calendar widget and a battery widget we have uh, here a weather widget you can uh, remove one of these and put uh, for example this we have percentage of uh, raining you have here the alarms you can scroll down and check all of the widgets you can select here on the lock screen and what else we have if you tap here you have depth effect is off and you can use that depth effect of the wallpaper which is very very nice but you need to remove a widgets from here so we need to tap and remove those widgets now they are removed and let's check now we have that depth effect what does mean you can see how the clock is hiding behind the wallpaper now it's removed and now it's on so we have that depth effect here on the lock screen clock but uh, and you can customize it very good with uh, different wallpapers you can select here the appearance uh, light mode dark mode and now it's set to automatic and that's everything you can customize here on your walk on your lock screen if you tap down of course you can switch here between the different lock screens presets and select the one which suits you better all right and here if you tap down this will be everything on our lock screen here I just want to show you the AOD style of uh, Harmony OS. If you lock the screen, you can see how the whole home screen is uh, melting in that uh, AOD. And if we unlock the device, you can see the animation, how beautiful it is. Now we are in the main section, which is the home screens. Let's start first with the notification panels, how they look on every device. So. If you swipe on the right side of iPhone, you will receive your toggles. If you swipe here on the right side, it will do exactly the same. Because why? Because Harmony OS and EMUI, Huawei operating system for global users, they are just trying to copy iOS. You can see how similar they are. Here are the panels and here we have the music player just they switch the places the toggles here are a little bit changed and here we have the brightness control volume control and so on and so on here if you swipe on the right side or on the left side never mind it's not important if you swipe even here on the home screen it will bring the notification panel which is very very useful and if you swipe one more time it will expand the whole panel with a lot of toggles here in uh, one ui6 we have an option if we tap here on edit button we have here quick quick settings instant access and if we enable it what does will do if you swipe here on the upper right corner it will directly expand the whole quick settings panel without going to notifications and if you just swipe one time up it will just uh, collapse it and show you the notification panel with the most used toggles. Here it's not the case for uh, Harmony OS. If you just swipe here on the right side of your notch, that will bring the quick settings panel. If you swipe on the left side, that will bring you the notifications. Here on the iOS, it is just the same. If you swipe on the right side, quick settings panel if you swipe on the left side all the notifications it is just the same the only difference here is 
if you swipe here on the right side and if you swipe like this it will just go to the notification panel here on ios it's not the case you just need to bring it up and swipe down again so it will show you the notifications that's the real difference here here i already show you how it's look like a bigger tiles following the android 14 style and that's the rearrange notification and quick settings panel coming with one ui6 by samsung so let's go and check the notifications how they look on all of the three operating systems here you can see now this is expanded because we have only one notification you can just expand it like this and close it here it is the same but the arrow is on the upper right corner of notification just tap on it and you have here the options and so on if you tap it here it is the same so harmonious is just following android here in uh, ios 17 it's a little bit different so you have here notification center and you can see how notifications are stuck for every application for example here are from youtube if i tap it it will show all the notifications from youtube if you tap here show less it will collapse them here is the same for that uh, application if you tap it it will expand all the applications from that application here telegram and so on and so on just the same process in one UI it's almost the same working almost the same with uh, small differences here every notification will be shown here on a separate row go to our home screen you can see how the weather widget here on the harmony os and here on the ios are very similar why because I don't know but the Chinese companies are always trying to copy Apple here we have a different widget of, for the weather of course this is the weather insights coming with one UI 6 but of course we can select from uh, lots of different widgets if you hold your finger here you can select a stack and if you tap it you can just select a stacked widgets here let's uh, select one from Samsung custom camera for example and let's save it now we have that stuck widget what does mean if you swipe left or right it will switch between the different stuck widgets this is just the stuck widget let's check how it's looking on the ios you can see everything is very similar i will not go so in deep and not explain which one of these three was the first to introduce that stuck widgets but anyhow let's just swipe it is just uh, doing the same as here just swiping up and down and bringing different widgets here it is left or right so similar working for the widgets and finally with ios 17 we have here the interactive widget what does mean these widgets now are interactive and you can tap on the selected area of the widget for example if we have a music player you can tap play pause here you can directly uh, launch the shorts from youtube you can directly uh, launch subscriptions you can directly launch home so before that it was impossible to do this the widget if you tap on a widget it will just open it without uh, using the separate toggles on the widgets inside that means we have now those interactive widgets here do we have those uh, stacked widgets yes we have it let's do it like this you if you tap here on the service widgets and if you select uh, widget combos for example you can select a different widget combo here so if you tap here on the calendar widget it is working the same way as apple's one just swiping up and down here it is just the same with of course a better animation and if you swipe down you can edit the stack so if you swipe and hold you can from here just edit those stacks but it is just as the apple's way just with a better animation let's check the home screen customizations here if you pinch uh, you can select from, uh, from here wallpaper and style we have a different themes and widgets and settings if we pinch here we have the same wallpaper service widgets 
layout you can change the layout here original uh, layout sort by color and sort by category if you tap here on sort by color it will sort the home screen by the color of the widgets and the icons here is the original and here you can create a different categories so you can rearrange the home screen with a very specific uh, way let's uh, select it as uh, original what else we have we have here the transition effect what does mean transition effect is when you swipe left or right you can see uh, we have now a perspective squeeze a box and just the default which is directly swiping left or right so we have here a difference between swiping left or right and here we have a service widget these are just the widgets but in HarmonyOS they call it service widgets. We can here expand on icons. What does mean? If you uh, find an icon with an arrow under it, if you swipe up on that icon, you can see what this brings. And this Huawei call it icon snipset. So if you just tap on it this will just bring you directly to the theme just a bigger toggle for that icon just something like a widget but a little bit different let's uh, check the gallery you can see how it's expanded and it is showing your images here if you go it in the camera you can select uh, direct shortcut for the camera something different here on the harmony os which is different than these two we have these bigger folders and if you hold on a folder you can select just to shrink the folder and make it small just like the default way how they are looking here but if you hold finger here and select enlarge it will enlarge the folder all right we just free some space let's hold finger now and we can make it even bigger so you can make a very big folder that is something which is specifically coming with Harmony OS. Here in iOS was the difference. Again, again you can uh, just rearrange uh, here the home screen if you, if you hold with the finger and if you want to add the widget, just tap here on the plus sign and select a widget. If you uh, want to move an icon from here, for example, if you hold your finger here and move that Facebook icon here, just tap it down but you can't just leave an empty space for example here on the upper right corner let me just show you holding finger here holding finger to edit the home screen i will just move it you can see how all of the icons are moved up you can't just leave an empty space like here empty space can be on the bottom part only for example here that's it on the last icon of every page and you can put uh, how many icons you want on every screen with different widgets and on the right side the most right side is here the so-called app li library from apple we have here the app drawer here it is all the apps are here you just need to swipe from the home screen of course Huawei implementation is different, if you swipe here nothing will happen, all of the icons are on your home screen. If you go here in settings and select home screen and style, and select here home screen style and tap it, you have here the standard which is show all apps on the home screen and you can select drawer, show all apps in a drawer which is the same as here, just swiping up from the home screen will bring all the ap applications you have installed on your device. On the iOS, they are on the they are on the most right side. Let's check the home screen customizations here on the One UI 6. So if we pinch, we have here wallpaper and style. But here the special is color palette. What is color palette? This is a so-called material view, but this is the implementation of Samsung One UI. If you tap on it, you can select. Basically, if you change the wallpaper of uh, your device. The colors of the wallpaper will follow the whole operating system everywhere in settings, in notifications and so on. Now you can see the color palette is enabled and you have here the wallpaper colors 
this all, all of these colors are taken from the wallpaper which we currently using if you tap here you can see how notification panel calculator and so on everything the colors are just changed and of course you have here a basic colors if you tap you can make it just green everywhere it is now green wallpaper colors and you can select this material you colors and here what is the difference you can apply palette to up icons what does mean if you enable it and apply it just go to home screen it will force the colors of your applications and now they will follow the color of your wallpaper and your color palette but of course it's a little bit broken you can see not every application is uh, coloring the icons because we use that function for already two years but google and samsung just can't find a way to force every application to change the colors so for me this is uh, something which i will not use here with the harmony os4 and latest version if you go in settings and home screen and style and if you tap in themes and select for example this start start theme and tap on personalize you can here personalize uh, the wallpapers of your device also from here i just forgot about this but you can uh, rearrange a little bit your lock screen so from here you can change the wallpaper you can change the pattern style you can see it and you can see what's happened here you can make that depth effect you can see how the clock is hiding a little bit behind here that's the original and the most important here now we have icon colors what does mean extract colors from the wallpaper to create matching icons so Huawei just following Android and their material view with that option let's just enable it and apply it and check what will happen with the icon colors so you can see now every application is with the changed color extracted from your wallpaper for external applications this won't work we can swipe everywhere and bring the notification panel here down everywhere on the home screen I just love that extra from android here huawei don't implement this because if you swipe on the home screen that will bring the search bar same as here which is something i don't like because most of the time i just want to check the notifications not to search anything but here that will bring the search, the search bar and guys these are probably the biggest visual differences which i can compare here i will not go so in deep because the video will go very long but if you are interested in in that comparison between these three or two operating systems just let me know down in the comments if you want to compare more extras between them just let me know and i will do that for you don't forget if this video helps you somehow subscribe to my channel and like my videos thanks for watching and have a nice day